so here I'm going to open your browser so in the browser just uh, uh, go to your Google and type uh, Michael live SQL okay. so when you type this you are going to get an Oracle live SQL website click on this link a website opens so in this website you can start practicing your SQL queries suppose if you want to practice your SQL queries you people wants to have an account okay so here when you want to start practicing so first you go to sign in so if you having an account you can directly type your username and password and you can sign in and you can start practicing your SQL queries but if you don't have an account so just create uh, an account so it is going to ask you to create an account if you're if you're an employee you can start uh, or if you are a student also you want to create an account so here give your valid email ID give a password and give a confirm password and give your country name give your name and uh, if you are doing some job to your job name or if you are a student just give as a student give some phone number and company or college name where you are studying uh, if you are working in the company just give the company name and address everything after entering all the details here the star mark details whatever he are given it should be compulsory given it should be some compulsory fill that call so after filling all the values just to say create account so when you say create account uh, and confirmation mail id is been sent to the mail id what you have been given here in this account so for that mail id you will get a confirmation account uh, link so click on that confirmation link in that then it is confirmed that for the company that you are the particular person has been registered in this website okay so I'm already having my uh, account so using that account I'm going to log in to my account so I'm been logging with my account so just sign in uh, after getting sign in uh, a website is been providing a session on enrollment for me so here see here uh, it has been provided uh, account for me so my account name is what okay the mail ID what I given that mail that is my account name and here now I can start executing my queries so if you want to start executing your queries so go to your SQL worksheet uh, so after clicking on this SQL worksheet it gives you an enrollment for us so this is an enrollment so here you want to type your queries so now when it comes to the queries so I'm typing some queries for you to understand how to write query and how to execute so here I'm going to create a small table for our understand create table student and uh, student uh, number and the type I'm giving here number uh, six comma uh, name like a two of 20 okay and the date of birth as given has it so this is the query this is the query I have written for creating a table just go and run this query so the output has been given is that a table is been created so and if you want to continue if you want to clear this square uh, if you want to clear this just clear this uh, but clear click the clear button the query is the environment will be clear now in that table I want to insert a record so insert into table what is the table now I created student I'm going to give that values okay so here in this values I'm giving that 
sorry oh, 1001 and uh, I'm giving some name has Sanjit and I'm giving the date of birth as 01063 and uh, 84 okay so how when giving that just once again run the query so one row is being inserted so uh, suppose now if I want to see that uh, record select star from a student so once you run the query okay now see here my record has been inserted that has been shown here now when it comes to the oracle database there will be some default tables like emp or tept so go for select star from emp uh, and once you run this what happened here see so there is no table or view does not exist in your database so there is no emp table and the so you can download from that go to the, your google and find a demo bld.sql file okay uh, so when, once you click on this demo bld.sql so here there's some records some queries are there so select uh, only the employee table emp table all the uh, all the records from this up to here and select copy and uh, try to paste here paste now all the now and run your query now see here uh, first a table is created means as per this queries what first I have been written a create a table now a table is created next uh, I inserted one record so one record is been inserted like that I inserted another record here so how many records have been totally 14 records have been inserted so now in this now once you say select star from EMP and if you start running so your table is being shown here yes now from this EMP table not only this you can write a queries different queries and you can start practicing so suppose uh, select uh, ename comma salary from EMP so just try the query and run it so you can find this tables okay so and not only this you can uh, perform some functions also suppose I'm selecting some max of salary from EMP okay and if you run this so it is going to show you the maximum salary that I had so in this environment you can start practicing and you can practice and you can get a knowledge that how to how the excel queries have been executed so after completion of your work try to save this session okay with a name and uh, save the session as a script okay so while you are saving you want to give it some description what you have did EMP. these sessions can be used for next time also okay so and come to here this is the Way you can start practicing your queries in your, in this website okay thank you for watching